Hi everyone and welcome to Quick Design 101's 5 minute crash course on color and the color wheel. Now the color wheel is broken into three different groups of colors and I should note here that this is just basic color theory to help you choose a color scheme for your design or project. Um, color theory is very complex. There have been many, many books written on it. Um, there's subtractive and additive color, the science of how light creates color, um, color being created by computer screens and colored lights. So it can be very complex, but this is just a very simple explanation of the color wheel, how colors work together, and thinking about the warm or coolness of the color. So if you're interested in learning more, there are plenty of great books out there um, or articles to be found. Some of the most interesting being on the psychology of color. So I really would encourage you, if um, you want to learn more, to pick up a book or find an article to read. Okay, so first we've got primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Um, in terms of the color wheel, all colors are created from these colors because we have secondary colors which are created from mixing two primary colors. So red and blue make purple, blue and yellow make green, and yellow and red make orange. Finally, there are tertiary colors which are created from mixing one primary color and one secondary color. So you can see we have red-orange, red-purple, blue purple, blue green, yellow green, and yellow orange. Okay, so colors on the color wheel are divided into two groups, essentially, aside from the type of color they are. There are warm colors, including reds, oranges, yellows, and there are cool colors, blues, purples, and greens. All right, the essence of choosing a color scheme is really knowing how color works together and how the relationships of the colors are formed on the color wheel. So today I'm going to talk about two very simple uh, color schemes or a way you can choose color scheme for beginners so that you can have something for your project that's really going to be easy to choose and kind of a no-brainer. First of all, the simplest is complementary. Any two colors that are straight across from each other on the color wheel are complementary, which means that they are going to work very well together in any situation. So one of the most classic examples is red and green. Um, traditional holiday colors, um, very classic combination because it works well together. Also, uh, orange and blue really look good together um, just because they're across from each other on the color wheel which there's a lot of science behind the light and how that works we won't get into that now but just know that you can choose any two colors across from each other and it will work okay a little bit more complex is split complementary which means the one color you choose and then the two colors directly adjacent to its direct complement so an example of that would be green with red orange and red purple. A little bit more complex, but if you think about those three colors, you can probably find a place where they have been mixed together. And you can see here red and yellow orange also goes with uh, blue green. So if it's helpful, you can just print out a color wheel and draw lines and just see what you like works together. Um, these are two of the more simple ways to choose color relationships. All right, and that is your five-minute lesson on the color wheel.